just short last season, fellas. What is, what is an off season like? You get so close to get. <laughs> Um, I think we did a lot of good things last year that we can build on. Uh, I think we try and focus on that. The stuff we can get better at. Because um, you're right, we did we did fall short. So there's obviously there's something else we can do. And uh, moving up in, in the you know the division is uh, going to be another challenge that we're going to have to deal with. So we're going to have to work harder and uh, adapt to that. Yeah, Coach Matt always tells us the past is in the past. Um, all you can worry about is the future. Um, that's been really important. You know, we've got. We've got a whole new schedule. We've got some new teams that we need to prepare for, and uh, so that, that's what we've been focused on. You know, you can't dwell on the uh, in the past. Yeah, last season was a lot of fun, and it was uh, it was great for our program. But like you said, we uh, we came up short, so we knew it wasn't good enough, and uh, we worked extra hard this off season. And I think we're ready for the challenges of two uh, A. It, it is the with the different schedule and coming off of you know runner up season. Has this camp been and, and it really isn't different. Uh, it's the same. You know, we've kind of built a tradition of winning uh, the past years. The Desima brothers have, and, um, and that's kind of what we, we've we've bought, all bought into that. We all work hard. Uh, you know, none of us ever want to. None of us are ever dogging it, really. Uh, we all kind of, as a team, uh, all bought into the to the winning tradition. I think we're ready for it. Yeah, for us, nothing's changed. We've been in this program since we were like 13, um, and you know, seventh graders are now in our program with our offense. So it's been great. Um, everyone's gonna be ready when it's their time to play and their time to start. Um, so yeah, it's it's just like every other year. It's just that you know, a little extra, a uh, little extra work and and uh, push because it's our senior year. It's our last go. Yep, definitely. Uh, I think it's the same. We've always uh, worked hard. I think that's one thing. Uh, we have pride in as a team. Uh, we work hard, and uh, we always there's a sense of urgency to get better. And uh, I think we're ready for this season. So does your starting quarterback? What does he like better, throwing touchdowns or his hair? Oh, definitely his hair. I think Gosh. I'm gonna have to go with the hair. Definitely, guys. guys. Yeah. Guys. Absolutely. Let's hear right. it from him. I mean, what, what is? Oh, it's the team. It's touchdowns. It's oh. Touchdowns. Touchdowns. He says that when he's on talking about the hair earlier, not not really touchdowns. Here comes here comes second. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah. So team, air, then family, and God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, God, so priority team. team. Episcopal Blue Gators, uh, seniors here. You know, you, as you mentioned, Jake, you guys have been together since you were 13. And, and for all three of you guys, senior year. I mean, that, that clock kind of, before you know it, it's it's done. So do you kind of feel the, the clock in the rear view like, man, this, this is it? Yeah, we do. You know, you, we, I said 13. These have been my guys since we was like we were like ten, you know. So all the time when we're hanging out, we're talking about the memories that we've had, and we're talking about what, what's going to happen this season. Um, we know that that we've only got we're only guaranteed ten more games, um, so we know that we have to make the best of it, and we know that we need to soak up every second of it. If you're, uh, if you're in a, if it's the, say a zombie apocalypse, it's the <clears throat> You're down in a bunker hole, you're trying to survive. What one teammate are you going to want to have with your brother? Christian DeVille. He is, he's insane. Yeah, I, I take him. Man, I take the Leone brothers. Those guys, they're like pretty much identical twins. They are both strong and psychopathic. In a good way? Uh, football, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, great for football. <laughs> and for zombies. <laughs> and for zombies. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to go with one of our cornerbacks, uh, Andrew Abear. Tough he's guy. A, <laughs> he's a tough guy. He's very crafty. Uh, he's also very muscular, so I know he could he could defend me if I'm ever down. Uh -huh. So who goes for like who's, who's the guy that would just not last at all? Oh, Michael Remondey. Probably yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's like, hey, you want to yeah. play? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know what? I might as well just let it go. Yeah. yeah. New season of Fiscal Blue Gators, uh, new schedule, new season, looking to get back to the dome. I'd ask you what the expectation of goal is, but I think I think we all know the answer. Yes, sir. Best of luck this season. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.